Whether from glass bottles, PET bottles, or cans, the determination of dissolved CO2 and O2 is a frequently performed task in beverage production. This task is quickly and effortlessly solved with CBOX QC, a combined CO2 and O2 meter for the laboratory. CBOX QC employs the combination of two measuring principles. Based on the patented multiple volume expansion method, the analyzer selectively measures carbon dioxide, uninfluenced by any other dissolved gases such as air or nitrogen. The oxygen sensor is based on an optochemical principle and guarantees fast, highly accurate determination of dissolved oxygen. In combination with the PFD piercing and filling device, samples are measured directly from their container, which prevents any loss of CO2. You can start a measurement after a few short steps only. First, lead the sample and the pressure outlet hoses into a waste vessel. Make sure that all hoses are tightly fixed. The ball valve in the back is fixed in the position you see here. And that the filter between the PFD and the instrument's sample inlet is correctly implemented. Anton Parr's CO2 and O2 meters are supplied, factory adjusted, and can be used immediately. The integrated and recommended periodical system checks are carried out with the deionized water and nitrogen. The implemented CO2 system check is recommended daily before you start the first measurement procedure. Using deionized CO2 free water, you can have the system automatically check the zero point of the CO2 measurement and the tightness of the measuring chamber. These check results give you a reliable go for a long working day. Perform the following steps for reliable and correct results. Equilibriate the sample by shaking the sample container in a horizontal position. Insert the bottle into the PFD piercing and filling device. Adjust the height so that the ring disappears under the piercing head. Now lower the safety shield and apply pressure with pressurized high purity nitrogen gas of class 5.0 in order to avoid influences on oxygen measurement. The container is pierced. Press the sample key on CBOX QC and select your method and further settings of choice. Be sure to set the appropriate rinse time. Insert the sample tube into the pierced container and secure the tube's position. Now you can initiate the measurement by pressing the start key. While the instrument is rinsed and filled with sample, make sure that no gas bubbles are visible in the measuring chamber window. Use 100 milliliters of sample for the measurement. As a first step, the O2 measurement is performed. After that, the CO2 measuring chamber is closed. The piston moves down and expands the volume for the first time. The pressure and temperature are measured. Then the piston moves down further and the volume is expanded a second time. The pressure and temperature are measured once again. All in all, the CO2 and O2 results are ready in about 90 seconds and stored in a data memory of 500 measurement data sets. Raise the sample tube and fix it in its uppermost position. Release the pressure. A gas spring causes the safety shield to rise. Lift the handle of the gasket holder and remove the bottle. The pierced hole is clearly visible. When working with a different container, such as a can, you can adjust the height of the PFD piercing head. Center the can, adjust the piercing head, and close the safety shield. Like before, apply pressure for piercing. Then lower the sample tube. After the measurement, 
Lift the tube, release the pressure, and remove the sample. For measuring a sample in a PET bottle, you require a so-called PET bottle adapter. As you can see, the adapter is easily installed. Now you can insert the bottle by fitting the cap into the adapter. Lower the safety shield, apply pressure, insert the sample tube, start the measurement. PFD induces the sample transfer with pressurized gas. When the sample is transferred from one container into the measuring chamber, no CO2 is lost along the way. After your work is done, your very last sample of the day should be deionized water. In this way, you can ensure that the instruments are correctly rinsed and cleaned. Just press the rinse button on CBOX QC. All sample residues are replaced by deionized water. Press the rinse button again to terminate the procedure. Release the pressure. Lift the safety shield. And switch off CBOX QC. You can leave your lab knowing that you went straight to the heart of your task instead of taking the long way around. CBOX QC, the fast, simple, reliable choice for CO2 and O2 determination.